Welcome to Art with Arrow, episode eight. This week, we're drawing Moana. Let's get to it. All right, here we go again. Um, starting a drawing off with a sketch. Um, I like to do this just to get my placement. Um, trying to get uh, the characters where I want them for my uh, canvas. So I just uh, kind of sketch them in. Use uh, pencil colors and drawing pencil. And after the sketch is complete, I'll go to the uh, to the uh, canvas here, and I'm just uh, doing the same method. I'll sketch them in using some pencil color just to get my placement, and then I'll move on to uh, pencil copy markers and paint. I'll put link links in the description for you guys to uh, get art supplies if you need them. Um, I hope you guys are drawing along and uh, post your drawings um, and let's talk about them. Uh, and this one here was very challenging for me. I uh, haven't really mixed a whole lot of uh, flesh tones in a while so uh, Using just uh, the basic colors, um, yellow, red, a little bit of blue, um, and some uh, mixing white to make the flesh tones. Uh, took me a while to get it right, so I ended up um, doing this drawing over the course of two days. I uh, had to come back to it because I couldn't, uh, you'll see in the video, uh, I keep going over the skin multiple times till I got the close enough to the uh, flesh tone that I wanted. Um, and as you can see in, in the background, uh, I just found some images of Moana in Maui. And I uh, just placed them in. And at the end, I just uh, throw in a nice little background. Um, And here I am uh, using the drawing pencil there uh, just to kind of like finalize where I, where I want everything. Um, I really like drawing this. It was fun. Uh, it definitely uh, made me realize that I need to uh, practice more on uh, doing flesh tones and, and mixing in paint. Uh, because I like painting, so uh, I try to incorporate markers and paint when I'm doing these drawings. Um, and uh, everybody has a, an area of weakness that you need to grow in. If you if you have an area of weakness, um, put it in, in the in the comments. Um, I'd like to hear it. I also like to see your drawings. I hope you do try to draw Moana and uh, see how it comes out for you. And if you got uh, tips on how you get the uh, the tones, because uh, when you do look up uh, Moana in Google, you'll see that uh, they have that island. Uh, it's like almost like an orange glow skin tone. It's beautiful uh, colors um, that Disney used to uh, to make those flesh tones. Um, so here you can see. Um, I'm using some uh, different colors of Copic markers there. I'm going with some uh, reds, uh, some pinks, uh, to try and try and build it up. At first I was trying to, to use the markers to build up what I wanted to do. And I started with a base of a uh, yellow because I wanted to end up with like that orange glow at the end. Um, and work in some browns. Um, And yeah, I'm moving on to the uh, paddle there using just some browns in the paddle. Some, uh, I got some eggshell white I, I pulled out and I put in uh, as well. Uh, using oranges and reds for her uh, little sash that goes around. Uh, and pink and red for the uh, the top that she has with the, with the white uh, beads that look like it goes around it. Yeah, I just I just slowly build up my paintings uh, uh, with the markers here, and before I, I'll go to the paint here soon, 
that uh, should be coming up where I uh, start working in my paint um, using different browns and um, just sketching in the uh, skirt there I'll do a lot of bouncing back and forth from uh, markers to paint. So yeah, here you see I can um, breaking out some paint, and this was I think my first go at trying to get the uh, flesh tone. Um, really wasn't uh, what I was looking for, um, so I started working a little orange there. And uh, then again, I was like, oh, I need to uh, try something else. So I just kept building it up, uh, putting in a little white, a little orange. Uh, then I started working in some browns. And coming back to the uh, pink and red because uh, she has really rosy cheeks. Um, really rosy cheeks in the uh, picture. And I think I went over the uh, paddle with a little bit of uh, of white and yellow as well to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And there was another go with some flesh tones that I was just uh, building up there. Uh, I think I used a little bit of white, uh, a little more white in that uh, in that version that I mixed up. Uh, and then I had to come back with the the uh, red and pink to uh, try to get that keep that rosy going in our cheeks <laughs> and also in our nose. Yeah, see, I bounced back to some uh, Copic markers there to throw in the necklace and uh, try and throw the shadows on her, on her back there. And working in some black around her and certain outlining areas that I, I just pick and choose where I want to outline. Yep, and I uh, threw in some uh, some black uh, in the hair there, and I make it a little bit darker. And, uh, and I was darkening that uh, back arm just to get it more of a, of a shadowy color, uh, so that you can see that it was like uh, behind her. <laughs> I think here I just uh, start working on Maui a little bit. Uh, cut scene there. I think that was where I had uh, actually um, stopped for the day because I uh, I was struggling with the paint. I needed to clear the palette and take a break. Uh, sometimes when you you can't get your mixtures right. Um, you know, it's good to just take a break. If you're going to take a day break or take an hour break or whatever and come back to it, um, just go ahead and clean your palette um, and uh, try to rework the uh, the flesh tones. Um, I know that uh, they have some nice flesh tone copy markers on Amazon. I'll probably uh, be getting those soon. Uh, and that'll make it a little bit easier to have a nice base and then I can still mix in some paint. Yep, so I was bringing the uh, the cheeks in there, uh, trying different colors. Um, I just kept trying different colors and just kept building it up till I got to a point that I, I really liked what I was where I was at.
Yeah, and you see I was uh, adding in some uh, white and uh, pink on the face there, uh, putting little highlights in. And then I go into Maui, I think I darken him up some. Uh, that should be coming up too. Darkening his, his knees and then uh, I'll move on to his skirt. Because uh, his skirt is nothing but leaves and uh, some rope and stuff. So I end up uh, drawing those in over the uh, green. Yeah, with the hook, I was just going with the, uh, like a bluish, uh, teal glow there. Um, uh, so it was a nice, uh, cut scene. If you watch the movie, uh, there's a scene, uh, where the, it, it glows, uh, blue or whatever. I think they were, um, uh, down with the crab. Trying to find the, uh, the hook. And here's, I just was working in just, uh, some kind of background, um. Uh, Figured I'll just do some like ocean scene and uh, throw in the sail like she's on the boat and Maui's jumping towards her to save her. I think this would be like a scene from when he was fighting those little tiki creatures. Uh, but I didn't use an actual scene. I just uh, did different uh, poses here. Yeah, I'm throwing a sail there. Use a little eggshell white to uh, do the sail. And uh, pink, and I'll come over with some red later. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a red I go over it with a little bit to uh, create that little symbol that she put on the uh, sail there. And I just throw in like a blue sky with clouds um, to get just a, a little background there going. And obviously you don't have to do a background if uh, if you're just doing, you wanna just do the characters, that's fine. Uh, I'd like to see you, you guys' uh, drawing, so uh, give it a try, you know. Uh, it's just fun. I just like to be a little creative and throw stuff in, you know. It definitely um, helps you to grow as you do more and more artwork. I uh, learned a lot from this painting and I will uh, definitely apply some different techniques on my next drawing, uh, which I think will be even better. And it's a wrap here, so uh... This concludes our drawing of Moana. I hope you enjoyed this drawing as much as I did. Uh, please post your drawings on Art with Arrow's Facebook page. And if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you again next week for another drawing.